July 23rd marks 10 years since John Paul II led his last World Youth Day meeting. It took place in Toronto back in 2002. Despite his age, the Polish Pope showed inner strength and energy while encouraging the youth to not fear the pain the life can bring. He also told them to seize the moment by striving to be saints at a young age. A young man told me he noticed how when John Paul II was young, his message was very powerful and provocative. But still in old age, being weak, sick and sitting in a chair, his message is just as powerful. It leads me to believe that the power itself comes from his message. It's as if the Pope can hide behind that message, which holds the same strength and power. During this World Youth Day, John Paul II called on the youth to build a civilization based on love by making Christ the cornerstone of their life. And then on Sunday, July 28, 2002, after the Angelus, the Pope announced the venue for the next World Youth Day. The next World Youth Day will take place in 2005 in Cologne, Germany. But John Paul II didn't live to see that World Youth Day. He passed away on April 2, 2005. Benedict XVI was elected 17 days later on April 19. It was a German pope who traveled to its native country to lead his first World Youth Day as pope.